Hello, my name is Peter Chalmers, and this is my video on arthroscopic capsulography, which is also called capsular plication. This is performed for loose ligaments in the shoulder. You'll see the shoulders. Surgery is performed arthroscopically. You can see I've already established our portals. Um, you can watch my arthroscopic labor repair video, which shows how to establish these portals and that portion of the procedure. Looking inside, we've already placed one anchor down at the very bottom. You can see how loose the ligaments are. And the first thing we're going to do is bring in this instrument called a rasp. Very basically, this instrument is used to roughen the capsule to encourage it to scar down to itself so that we can tighten the ligaments and help allow them to kind of be folded over and healed to each other. So the first thing we'll do is grasp, grasp our suture from the front so we can isolate that suture so that we're going to use this instrument, which is called the Spectrum. And this is basically a thin curved needle that allows me to do what's called retrograde passing. So what I'm going to do here is grasp the, the ligaments, the capsule of the shoulder, bring that out right where the anchor is. And when I tie that suture around, it's going to grasp the ligaments and bunch them up right next to the right next to the socket of the shoulder. When that gets bunched up, that's going to tighten the shoulder and prevent it from dislocating, which is the problem this patient is having. So we use that little nylon loop to bring the suture back around through the way that it came. You can see it here being pulled back around. And then once that's been passed, we can grasp the other one a suture of the same color. And we can tie those sutures together, which again will bunch that capsule up and um, complete our plication. We're going to basically repeat this process um, for what are called double loaded anchors. There's two, two sutures in each anchor until we feel like we've completely tightened the ligaments around the bottom front portion of the socket of the shoulder. Um, and you can see that those things are coming together nicely so far. So we'll grasp the, this is, and this is the tying portion of the procedure. You see me here that there's a special way of tying the knots outside using this knot pusher, which pushes the knots down inside the shoulder. Once all those are tied, you see I tie a total of seven knots to be absolutely certain it's not going anywhere. We use this cutter, which cuts the knot. Once that's cut, you'll see we're able to grasp the other suture and move on to the next one. So you can see how as we come around, this creates what's, what looks like a bumper. It looks like a a giant little mountain of tissue right next to the socket. That mountain further keeps the ball centered within the socket. It serves as a bumper, kind of like bumpers in a bowling alley to prevent the ball from coming out of the socket. So we're repeating that same process here using that curved uh, needle that passes our monofilament suture and then using that to pass around and then tying. And you'll see once we've gotten this one done, we're ready to place our second anchor. So we're gonna drill one tiny little hole here and then we're gonna place our anchor through this um, soft tubular, there's a hard tubular sheath. You see the soft anchor itself is soft. So the anchor is completely made out of suture that makes sure that it can't rub or hurt anything. So I like that position here. We'll do the same dance here where we grasp our sutures one at a time. Once we've gotten the sutures grasped and pulled out, then we can come in with that curved needle. One of the things that I want to show here is that we, we work really hard to make sure that the sutures are perfectly placed. So this one will repeat the same process um, and we'll tie this down and you can see how that's going to create even more of a nice bumper in the front of the shoulder here. And as I come in here for the second one, one of the things you're going to notice is that as I'm trying to get it perfect, I'm not able to bring the spectrum in the exact position that I want it. So I show here piercing the capsule with the spectrum and then you can see here there's a sped up video here of me trying to get this perfect and I'm not able to bring it out exactly where I want it to. So if I can't get it exactly where I want it, what I'll do is try and come from the other side. So we'll use our um, grasper here to reorient our sutures, bring that spectrum, that curved suture hook in from the other side, and now I can get it exactly in the right spot, so I'm happy with that. So this surgery, like all the surgeries that I do, I'm very specific about getting everything exactly the way I want it, and there's a lot of strategies we'll use during surgery to try over and over again until it's perfect. So you can see me here grasping the other suture here and then tying that down. And you can see how that brings all of that tissue right up to the edge of the socket. And we're happy with that. We've got one more anchor to go here. This shows us placing our last anchor. Once this last anchor is placed, we're going to pass our sutures around that last bit of capsule that's remaining. All this is to bring the ligaments around and up and tighten them to, again, tighten the shoulder, prevent it from dislocating in the future, which is what this patient has been struggling with in the past. So show me here using that hook to bring the um, suture all the way through the ligaments. Then you'll see us here isolating the sutures and tying them down. So again here, um, as, we, as, we, as we work carefully here, what we're going to be doing here is bringing all of that tissue right up to the edge of the socket. 
And you can also see how that tensions the ligaments and makes them much tighter than when we began. And the last one, you can see me here working at the very edge of the tissue to try and get every last little bit that we can get can out of it. We'll come through here in almost a woven pattern you can see coming in, out, in again to try and weave that suture through and bring as much of the capsule up onto the edge as we can. Um, one of the things that's problematic here at the very top is that the knot can can not be always exactly where I want it to be. So one trick we'll use here is we'll use this instrument called a probe from the back to reorient the suture to get it around the maximum amount of suture amount of tissue possible. So we'll reorient that here, and then when I pull down, you can see that reorients the knot to completely pull all of the maximum amount of tissue up, up onto the socket, um, and I'm quite happy with that. So you'll see here we have a nice bumper here right at the front edge of the socket. And then in addition, I'll test the, the, the tension within the ligaments here with our drill guide, and you can see that that looks quite good, and I'm happy, and we're done. Thank you so much for watching my video.